2018 Mercedes-Benz GLS Class Performance and Driving Impressions Review The GLS Class is a big machine, but thanks to above-average driving dynamics, it never feels clumsy. Although it sometimes betrays its size long braking stops and a soft suspension are the main culprits the GLS is respectively adept on the road. What's new for 2018? There's no competition. The GLS is the most refined best driving vehicle in the set with no significant changes for the 2018 model year its performance hasn't been affected and it's still our favorite large suv on the block acceleration the big bends feels quick despite its bulk and the numbers back that up the gls 450 accelerated from 0 to 60 mph in 5.7 seconds in our testing the throttle responds quickly to accelerator inputs and Mercedes-Benz's 4MATIC all-wheel drive system is standard across the GLS lineup. This adds weight, but it helps the SUV deliver power to the ground even in slippery situations. Ride, handling, and steering, thanks in part to its standard air suspension, the GLS class rides like the luxury cruiser it is. Bumps and pavement imperfections melt away in the standard comfort setting. The available adaptive shocks stiffen the pillowy ride when sport mode is selected. The GLS isn't designed for hard cornering, so drivers will notice body roll when pushing it hard, but for everyday driving, it delivers the coddling ride we expect from a Mercedes. Steering is accurate and keeps this big good tracking straight on the highway, but there's almost no feedback from the road, and reaction to inputs is somewhat lazy. Vic steering is not unusual in family haulers, though and the GLS class performs as well as or better than most competitors in this regard. Braking, stopping the GLS class in its tracks is no mean feat, given that it tips the scales at more than 5,300 pounds. When you first apply the pedal, there is sponginess, but after that, it feels firm and reassuring. The Mercedes-Benz maximizes the braking system's effectiveness by automatically positioning the brake pads closer to the discs when the driver lifts off the accelerator, and using the brake pads to periodically clear water off the discs 